Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to do a review of Angle 4 mockup, which in my opinion is the best mockup out there for working with mockups directly in Adobe XD. So let's get started. Alright, so here is the website angle.sh. I'm going to leave the link down in the description below so you can easily access it. And basically what it is, is you can see all of these vector devices mockups for Sketch, Figma and XD and all of them have plugins. You can purchase the entire library or download a free sample depending on where you are in your career. I always purchase the full, full library and I'm going to show you what's included inside of the full library later, but you can always download the free sample and test it out for yourself. You can see you can place your screen with Angle plugin. It works for Sketch, XD and Figma. And what's included is you can use these compositions so you can see the real devices. You can see clay devices, so basically changes style and becomes this sort of a, a clay device. We have glass devices, basically exactly the same thing, but just glass outside. And finally, we have this, which is awesome, especially for dribble, these cards. Basically, they compiled all of their mockups into these sort of cards and you can simply place your screens inside and get exactly the same composition. As I said, great for dribble. If we move on down, you can see we have iOS, Android and desktop mockups. Once again, you can download a free sample and test it out. You have iOS, you have Android mockups and you have desktop mockups. And finally, they have wallpapers in 5K resolution. I use them all the time. Basically, in XD, I can place these in the background, include a motion blur and basically blur out the background to achieve this sort of a glass looking look. As you can see, loved by all of these companies. These are testimonials. And finally, you can get free, as I said, full library with updates of one year and lifetime updates. Personally, I always choose one year because the last time I purchased these was like three years ago or something like that. And then I just recently purchased Angle 4. So to show you how they look like, as I said, we have this design link is going to be down in the description below. If you want to see how this design is created with all of these animations inside. And what I want to show you is this. This is what you're going to get when you purchase Angle 4 mockups. Once again, this is the full version. And if I double click inside of here, you can see it's updated at October 26th, 2021. So basically what they recommend from here is for you to um, install their plugin directly from the folder, then create the artboard with your screen. We already done that right here in Adobe XD. And finally, you can select the shape to apply your mockup. If you're applying Angle mockup, make sure to select the group mask call screen or if there is none otherwise select the pot call screen this is really important because it was the other way around uh, previously with their old mockups you used to have to select the screen layer directly in order to apply the mockup now if there is a group called screen i'm going to show you that in just a second you have to apply it to that group otherwise if there is none then you have to apply it to screen before we move on any further if you have any sort of issues with the mockups make sure to visit their website make sure to write them because there is no other way for them to fix those issues if you don't write to them directly because I know a lot of you guys have issues in the past. So what we have right here are the cards. So these are all the cards. Comps, so compositions. You can see how many compositions there are. Mockups for Android. Mockups for desktop. And then you can jump inside deeply to jump inside to all of these mockups. And let's say that I want to open up iOS. I want to open up iPhone 13. And here you can see how it all looks like. So if I enlarge it a little bit, you can see all possible angles of an iPhone 13. So you can see all of the components right here because they made it into a component. You can see all of these different angles for each of the colors, for each of the sizes, perspectives. We have glass, we have clay, we have regular mockups. So let's just choose one of these. Let's go with this one, for example, just randomly. Control C and I'm going to place it into my document here. Of course, you can always uh, create a separate document for your presentation if you don't want to copy and paste these directly into your design. But in this case, I'm just going to uh, paste it in right here. Now that it's pasted, I'm going to simply move it outside of my artboard and simply position it roughly around here. Now, in order for me to apply this screen, for example, or this screen to this phone, I have to install that plugin. So come right here to the plugin then go back to that folder, 
go to the plugin and you can see right here angle plugin 2 for Adobe XD if I open up the readme just to uh, show you what it says it says you need to install the plugin included in this folder by double clicking the angle plugin this will automatically install the plugin in XD for you let's go let's try that so once again open it up here it is double click on it and simply notice it's going to appear right here on the top install plugin yes hit install plugin installed okay and here it is right here on the top so once again what we need to do is select this device go to our layers open up and you can always go with control click and that's going to um, select this screen shape you can see place our port here but they say if you remember to select the mask so let's do that select the screen mask go back to angle plugin apply mockup and this is what I like, um, depending of previous mockups, it used to be different for Angle. Uh, you used to have to select all of your artboards from this drop down screen. It was really nasty because especially if you have 100, 200 artboards, it's really difficult to select. Now you can see select a frame, which is great. They're showing you that instantly. And here you can see pixel density. So depending on how big of a quality you want, rotation, if you want to rotate that image, and flipped so you can rotate it left and right. Let's select this one and simply hit apply mockup. It's going to work its magic a little bit and now you can see that it applied that mockup. Now this exact workflow works for all of these other devices. So for example, if you're working with Android, you can use those. If you're working with desktops, laptops, uh, whatever, you can work with those. And you can see they even included Pro Display HDR. So if you're working with something like that, then you can use that too. They also have keyboard, so you can drag and drop that keyboard. They have Apple TV, Apple Watch, all of these things, iMac, so depending on what you're working on you can work with those finally I want to show you these wallpapers so you have all of these different category from 3d and wallpapers are in 5k but they are optimized so you can see 5k image is just 425 kilobytes in size which is amazing and once again just to show you what I mean let's go into blur for example let's take this nice blur drag and drop it into our document and let's actually take it from here so control x and i want to place it somewhere around here so let's see what we can do all the way to the back like this simply position it there and let's resize it because you can see how huge this is i can position it right around here something like that and now because i have all of these different options i can select it and simply play around with the blur if i want to so background blur and let's increase the opacity just a little bit just so that we can get this nice looking background and finally if you want to apply that change back to here you can click select the screen go back to your plugins angle mockup select the same one and you can see it's updated right here in real time apply to mockup wait just a second and it's going to appear right here with that change that you applied as you can see right here so there you go that's the look of angle for plugin angle for mockups once again this is a complete package if you're downloading free sample uh, make sure to test it out make sure to see if it works once again simply follow the instructions which are located here inside of the folder so you can locate this readme xd file to understand more about angle or you can go to plugin folder and learn more about readme xd don't install this X, uh, angle plugin directly from plugins so you you used to be able to do that by clicking right here then install it but this way they are updating it in real time when you download it you're going to always get the latest version of the angle plugin so thank you so much for watching i really hope you got some value out of this video if you did make sure to press that like button i upload new videos every single week about adobe xd just like this one passive income techniques design tips and much more so if you're interested in content like that make sure to check it out make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care